students uh, today i am uh, starting my new playlist um, based upon r programming uh, so the first video what i am introducing you uh, which in which i am uh, exploring basic features of r so the, we'll start with the r programming now and uh, before that we'll just take a overview about r what it is so r it a, is a data analysis and data visualization tool that uh, allows you to represent complex data in the form of charts plots and graphs and uh, it provide a variety of statistical and graphical techniques such as linear and non linear modeling statistical test time series analysis and uh, classification clustering and etc the functionalities provided by r can be extended by using functional function which are inbuilt and the other are user defined packages and uh, there are several guis uh, editors uh, for r language uh, so i am i'm uh, going to explore r studio for you which is commonly used and uh, you can install r in your computer uh, by downloading sof software from this particular website so from this website you can download and for ubuntu you can uh, use uh, command prompt so uh, directly we are proceeding to the terminal and uh, so we are directly going to the console uh, so how we are going to start with r so i have already installed r in my system so i'll just type uh, capital r and enter so you will get some information uh, this is basically r console you can see r console is um, uh, we have started with r programming now so when you open it uh, it displays some basic information about r such as uh, the version r version and copyrights uh, release date licensing conditions and etc and etc so all the details are given here right and uh, uh, you can notice uh, greater than sign is here right this is called r prompt which allows the user to write commands and then press enter key to execute the command it's as simple as that so also note that blinking cursor cursor is available to the right of the uh, r prompt uh, to uh, for writing the commands you can also handle the console um, from keyboard shortcut if uh, on r studio Now here it is not possible so we can develop here some programs so uh, in the starting initially i'm starting with the basic uh, data types variables vectors arithmetic operators and logical operators right so we will start here by some basic types i will tell you so if suppose uh, the nomenclature we will understand so if suppose i am writing 4.5 then this decimal value is called as what numeric okay so this is an error definitely so if i'm call uh, typing 4 then it is called as integer if i'm typing true false then it is uh, logical and then if i'm writing something in between this symbol or in this symbol then it is called as character right so basic we are starting exactly from the uh, scratch you can say so we will identify what we are typing and how it is going on so suppose suppose declare variables of different types we'll see so the first will be numeric in that i'll type so this is your assignment so 28 is assigned to x right so i can check it out by printing it simply i can write print x it will display the value which is stored in the variable or i can simply write x right so this is much simpler than other uh, programming so i want to check it out which 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 type it is 
so I'll type class and then X so it is showing that it is numeric so again we will check some interesting uh, data types or some new values in the variable so now I'll try string I'm writing down some commands for your information right so I'm assigning some value for R so you just understand what is uh, how I am assigning this is how it is going R is superb right so this is uh, what I did and if I want to so I can again do the same thing print y r is super or I can directly print y here like this and if I want to know the type then I can write so it is showing that it is a character yeah right so next we will try the boolean so in that if suppose I see that is true so uh, I'll check it out I type in set so it is showing that this particular value is logical right so next we will check it out variables uh, variable stores value and uh, are an important component in programming especially for a data scientist a variable can store a number an object a statistical result a vector a data set a model prediction basically anything are outputs so we can use that variable later simply by calling the name of the variable right so declare a variable we need to uh, to declare a variable we need to assign a variable name the name should be uh, should not have space you know so remember this thing the name should be uh, do not have space so I'm writing here variable names so uh, how I'm going to write I will just tell you in command name of name of variable then this less than and value value right so we can use this symbol or we can use this symbol right okay so now I'm I'm I'll try something for you so you can understand so if I say X so likewise you can type it out here so this is assigning value uh, for a variable so we can do like uh, likewise so first of all you can understand this value was inserted in X now this value is there right we already printed X here and now you are printing X again here so value is changed right in Y also you can see in Y we had a string so I will assign some value here okay so printing y it is 12 or I can do like this also okay it is 12 so I can do some operations here so I can do x minus y so it is showing 30 or x into y it is showing multiplication right so it is we can also do division right so we can do anything here uh, so we will check it out step by step right so this is how we saw variables and its declaration so now we see we are going to see vectors vectors so vector a vector is one dimensional array you can create a vector with uh, all the basic data type we learned before the uh, simplest way to build a vector in R is to use the C command right so I am uh, 
creating a vector here so suppose I'm typing here vector yeah suppose this is my name suppose variable name then and then I'm using C in bracket I'm putting value this is a right so I have declared so I can print here so you can see the three values are here after typing it so you can do the same thing for a character also character or string also so let's try it again again in v v i r we will uh, okay let's take my name so c again i'm typing some name z then comma then z suppose Pune. and then I'm closing the okay so this this value is assigned for Viresh you can see the names here so this is one uh, one example what we have so again uh, there is no need to take some more examples so you can understand this is vector so what we'll do is now we can uh, we'll do we can do some arithmetic calculation on vectors so uh, we'll create some vectors now so I am creating a new vector a which is having value uh, value should be one five. so this is value given to a okay there is an error okay there is no C so how it can so in B again I am doing the same thing okay I am entering some more value okay so in B also you can see A and B both are value are here so we will do some uh, addition here so I'll, I'll, I'll write some command for you take the sum of a and b right so again uh, declare new variable sum okay so this particular value went in sum so I can print sum so you can see the three uh, different values we have addition of 2 and 1 is 3 4 and 3 is 7 5 and 6 is 11 right so you can also do the same things with the help of these mathematical calculations okay so we will check uh, one more example uh, in R it is possible to slice a vector slice means uh, to take some of the portion of a given values right and some occasion we are interested uh, in only um, uh, suppose I have entered uh, 10 values and we are interested in only first five values then you can also see uh, that particular values in uh, uh, you know uh, in R so uh, let's uh, do it slice the first so what I'm doing is I'm just uh, okay so I'm, so I'm giving some value here so you can give anything 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so we have values so see here values are there so you want to see only five values then you can type like this okay so you can see we have 10 values here 
but you are going to see only five values here because we are interested in these five values only right so this is the important example what we have so likewise operations we can do in r so we are going to see only basic basic things today so these are these are much simpler examples so you can try it at your home so next example we will take the shortest way to create a range of value uh, is to use um, uh, colon between the two numbers uh, for instance from uh, the above example uh, we can write 1 as to 10 to create a vector of a value from 1 to 10 simply just check it out okay right did so we can again try some new thing okay so we are getting values from 1 to 10 1 to 25 and likewise you can take any 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 values right so uh, these are vector and it's much uh, some of operations in arithmetic operation we will see arithmetic operations now so okay sorry it's my one to habit so i had to type like this so in um, uh, arithmetic operation we have plus minus multiplication division exponentations right so you can do like this means you can directly do addition sorry okay so you will get all the things here minus 10 okay so this you can do simply okay so okay so this all operations you can do here directly so there is no need to you know multiplication division we did okay so we will do exponential also to okay so these are some values we are getting we can do like this also okay so so these are what we have arithmetic operators so till now this is enough for this video you do practice at your home and the in next video i'll take some more practices regarding the same so we will cover some more